humans are drawn to the ocean. And I think it's really because the ocean is a mystery. There was one time where it was mid-December and I think I was two years old. I asked my parents if I could go swimming and they said, sure, just joking. And I ripped off my snowsuit and went in the water. And they eventually got me back in, put my snowsuit back on and I was purple, but I said, you know, that was awesome. This love of water led me to Nova Scotia where I pursued a degree in marine biology for five years where I then came across the NSCC Oceans Technology Program and right from the get-go it became very clear that I could really hone in my skills in underwater photography. I got my first GoPro and I built a camera frame to analyze the ocean floor for simple vegetation really got me interested and really allowed me to find a sort of corner pocket of marine biology that I had been searching for. There's only about 7% of the ocean floor has been actually mapped in detail. There's a huge area for that to be explored. Through the NSCC program, I got to build another camera frame that built on the principles I had learned from my previous one as my capstone project. And so my entire year for the Oceans Technology Program, I really got to focus on a unique camera system. Even years later, I still feel that sense of mystery when I go in the ocean. So little of it has been explored and so much of it remains a mystery to most people. Every day I feel like an explorer. I'm going with a pair of flippers and a camera so that not only am I exploring it for the very first time, but I can then bring that back and share with other people so that they can experience it a little bit, but then hopefully be pushed to exploring it themselves. As I step forward in my career and underwater technology. I feel like every day I get to tap into that sense of joy that the two-year-old me felt every time he went into the water. And to think that this is what I get to do for the rest of my life is astounding to me.